good day and what do we have here is another 24 volts off grid inverter so this is series 2 of the 24 volts 1 kilowatt inverter which one of the inverters will be raffle off so if you haven't subscribed yet better click that button and so that you will know at the end of the series uh, I'm going to raffle off one of these inverters so to check what we have is model is HP 24 volts 1 kilowatt uh, net weight size doesn't say so much about what's the model or the brand so going to open this up okay let's start so this is a has a AC cable uh, just like for a PC an existing cable on the other side let me check so let's grab them and see what's in store for us The unit comes with its own already cable. Okay, it's as a manual. And the brand is one solar. this up okay so like the previous inverter that we unbox they have the same constructions when it comes to uh, casing so there are perforated no, perforated on the on the side holes. So we have this nuts and bolts. So like the previous uh, snaddy, you also have this. But Snaddy only have one huge bolt. Okay, let's see it first. Okay, no fan. Snaddy has one. This one doesn't. And the fan is below. Okay. Output. So this is where your cable is it's the input the batteries already have wires so this is what's for so what's missing compared to the other one is there's no RS232 it's just a very simple off-grid inverter so 24 volts 1 kilowatt and as always what we do, we're going to open what's inside.
Okay. Wait, look, check. All right. Let's remove the. Okay. So the specs is also here. So the models HP 10 to 24, 1 kilowatt. It has a peak voltage of 3 kilowatt for inrush. DZ is 24 volts. Current is 46. Charging voltage is 27.6. And AC amps, inverter mode, 4.6. Now, this one, same with the SNADI, uh, the previous video, it has also a adjustable LVD and HVD. So after the unboxing, we're going to do a, a different uh, method which we're going to configure. Okay, very neat. And also we can see that there are buttons okay. so for the purposes of demo we might as well as open this okay yeah simple four buttons and switch for power so this one has five. All the leads are up here. And I don't know what's this. Maybe for configuration purposes, but it's not wired. Anyway, we'll set this aside. And okay. Now this one's different, as you can see. We're going to make this closer. Now, on Snadi, this one is on the, it's mounted, but in here it's different. Okay. Smaller in terms of uh, toroid compared to the Snadi. Snadi is much heavier. This one, this, the circumference is a bit small. So same thing that they have, they have only three, 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 oops, yes, that's it. Now, the way they orient their heatsink is near to the fan, so it blows, so the, the current flow is, uh, the airflow is going inside and being distributed on the perforated holes on the on the sides of the casing so as you can see they have two capacitors its riser is for the LCD and somewhat similar to the snadi also but on this this time this one doesn't have any uh, only oh see this one has a more I would say uh when it comes to wiring the harness is a bit clean you know, as you can see it's clean all are with connectors but this one is not mounted and it's smaller and as you can see here 90 to 50 It's just, you know, so just blank. Other than that, no RS232. But I think what we need is we can suggest to have this uh, RS232. Yes, well, let's see. What's in this? What's in this? uh-huh so this is the rs232 it's just not being uh, propagated or wired going to your external but we'll ask the distributor on this so 
that's it i hope you like it and don't forget to thumbs up